Here's some news you might have missed if you're not reading the Business Courier online every day. The debate over the city of Cincinnati's plan to lease its parking meters and garages heated up again this past week. One issue, a memo from a city-hired consulting group raising concerns about the deal. Just a day before the city signed the lease with the Port Authority is when this came up. The memo says that the operating company's cost to oversee the meters will be 257% higher than what it costs Cincinnati to operate them today. A consultant on the project says the memo was crafted to help negotiate a good deal with the firm, not as a warning that the city was already being fleeced, according to emails between a city official and the consultant. You can see those emails and learn more about this ongoing controversy on our website. The city of Cincinnati set a start date for another hot button issue. Following years of planning and controversy, the city says passengers will be able to board the new streetcar September 15, 2016. The city signed a contract last week with Messer Construction. Cincinnati Bengals training camp is on Friday, so even though it's the middle of summer, the time to buy tickets is rapidly approaching and they are not cheap. Seats for the Bengals game against the Green Bay Packers September 22nd at Paul Brown Stadium are going for an average of 168 bucks a piece. The Bengals home opener September 16th. That's a Monday night game against the Steelers. Just behind the Packers game, tickets averaging $157. This according to Vivid Seats. Graders unveiled some new flavors this week. Salted caramel truffle cup, peanut butter pretzel, Aztec chocolate, and jazzberry cinnamon crunch will be available in limited quantities. The new flavors will only be available through an online order of six pints. They will not be sold in stores or individually. The cost depends on where the ice cream is shipped.